humans, I'm Mr. King. Hoi! Come on, let's come back to this. Some examples of the popular exam question and answer okay, for this sulfur and carbonate chapters. Right, first one, give a use of sulfur dioxide. Okay, remember, you have to remove all these three. Okay, bleaching, okay, uh, in the manufacturers of wood pulp, okay, food preservative, okay, or to cure bacteria. Okay? And then, what is the source of sulfur? Remember, it's fossil fuel. Alright. So, how sulfur is converted into sulfur dioxide? Okay, remember, from sulfur to sulfur dioxide, okay, it burns or roasts in the air okay, with oxygen. Okay. Then, what is added to sulfur dioxide to convert it into oleum? Okay, remember, it is added with concentrated sulfuric acid. Alright. Okay, what is added to oleum to convert it into sulfuric acid? Okay, it's added with water. So basically, okay, you have to remember okay, all the steps and reaction in contact process. Okay, uses of sulfur acid. Okay, this uh, I mean this is very important. Okay, you have to remember like at least two to three. Okay, it is used to make detergent, car batteries, okay, dyes, and so on. Okay, then see sulfur is burned by spring droplets of molten sulfur into the air. So what's the advantage? See droplets what? Okay, so keywords droplets, which means larger surface area. So therefore, faster rate of reaction. Okay, next, see, sulfur is more expensive than air. So what's the advantage of using excess air? And so you see, we have to make sure that okay, the equilibrium it is always moved towards the right hand side. Okay, why? So when equilibrium it is to the right, so therefore it will increase the yield. Okay, and then how concentrated sulfuric acid is made from sulfur trioxide? Okay, remember, okay, we add sulfur trioxide with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce oleum. Okay, and then followed by the addition of water into the oleum to produce sulfuric acid. So this is how it is done. Okay, contact process. So how sulfur dioxide is produced? Okay, remember, sulfur is roasted in the air. Then you see, remember, sulfur dioxide is an example of reducing agent. So, how can we test for the presence of sulfur dioxide gas? Remember, we test with acid 5 potassium magnesium 7. And color changes purple to colorless. Okay, that's all you have to know. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.